Hi, my name is Ann Wolf. I'm a pediatric physical therapist at Emerge Pediatric Therapy, and I'm part of our infant care team. Um, today, we are gonna be doing my number one trick for getting almost new walkers to take their first steps. Um, this has worked for me with a lot of different families. Um, and it's been a really fun way to get kiddos engaged to take their first steps. So you're gonna see two different clients walking in these videos. One is a little bit older, and she has been taking steps um, you might see her in some of our other videos and then the other is younger and these actually were his very first steps um, So it's a great trick to use for kids right when they're about to start walking And then you can kind of continue to use it as an exercise to get them to take more steps after that So the key features of this are that you have one person Kiddo is sitting in your lap and then you have another person in front blowing bubbles so in our clinic I'm the one behind the client and then mom or dad or whatever caregiver comes to the appointment is the one in front and blowing bubbles. They are the more motivating of the two of us. Um, we really want kiddo to be motivated to get to them. So whichever parent or caregiver you feel like that would be at home, um, that would be the way to set this up. From that, kiddo starts by sitting in my lap. The goal is that they transition themselves into standing through a squat. So they put their feet on the ground, they push themselves up, you might give a little bit of support for balance, but they are pushing themselves into standing. That's a pretty key element because a lot of kids, if you attempt to just put them down on their feet in standing, they will actually pick their feet up um, or they may not kind of accept and bear weight through their legs. So part of this is that they transition themselves into standing. So they put their feet on the ground, they get themselves up. You pretty immediately give them only the amount of support that they need to stand there. So you can see that my hands are pretty loosely um, kind of situated on hips. Sometimes I even will move my hands around a little bit to give less support. And then the goal is that they are really motivated to get to those bubbles and that caregiver. So they really want to move forward so that they can get to those exciting things. Um, if you have a kiddo that has been cruising for a while, you know, is pulling to stand, is cruising, is starting to let go of support, is maybe starting to do a little bit of that independent standing, maybe they're getting 10 to 15 seconds of independent standing on their own, those would be the kids that are ready for this activity. Um, this can be a great starter activity for just getting independent standing, even if you're not working towards steps, but it is also a really good one once they have the independent standing piece and you're trying to motivate them to come forward. Um, it really helps them to rely on all of their muscles to do it, which is a little bit different than maybe using something in front to push, like a push walker. Um, so this is something to try if you have a kiddo that is getting into those standing skills, looks like they're about to take first steps and you just need kind of that extra little motivator to get them to walk forward. So try this with your kids at home. Let us know if it works for you. Um, and if it, if your kid's not quite there yet, you can look back through some of our old videos and find some of kind of the precursor steps to this activity, but give it a try and let us know what you think. Thanks. Have a great day.